Hey everyone, welcome back to another Cut Above with Chris. And I'm going to be doing another lather review right now on a soap which I picked up really cheap. Windsor Travel Soap. I don't know whether you can see that or not. This will come up very well. I'll tell you what I'll do. I'm going to see if I stick it in there in a dark bowl. Maybe I'll read it. There we go. So it just comes literally, it looks like a hand soap to me. It's the big bar of soap. It's got a nice scent to it. It's got a it's obviously it's got a scenty soap. Yes, a scenty soap. It's got a scenty s a s I'll tell you what, sometimes it gets hard work on you. It's got a soapy scent, but it's got a little hint of something else in it. Oh sort of citrusy. What have we got in here? Brilliant. It's got fragrance in it. Very good. Soap's made in Australia. Hold it's made in China. That sounds about right. I've just got my Omega Boar Brush. Pura Satola. Made in Italy. I haven't bloomed this soap. Very hard soap. I'm just going to see what happens when I do it. I should really bloom it because it is a, it's such a hard soap, you should just give it a bit of a soften up before you use it. Oh, it's got a lovely scent. It definitely has. It's a bit... It's a bit hard to get a... To sort of get your brush on it, if you know what I mean. It's sort of an odd shape. I don't know whether this is a soap you're supposed to sort of rub in your face. Whatever you're actually going to shave, I'm not really that sure. It's quite hard to to load up the brush. So I'm assuming this. I don't actually have a good read there. I can only imagine this is a glycerin-based soap. Look, I've got no idea if I've got enough on there or not. I really don't. There's not much in that brush, it's just, it really needs blooming. In fact, what we'll do, we'll do this two ways. I'm going to use what I've got on the brush for face liner to just see what I can get out of it. And then I'm going to bloom the soap while I'm doing that. So it's just sitting in a bowl of water there. And let's just see what we get. I should really just wipe my face a little bit. actually watched a review on this soap. It'll be interesting to see how it goes. Certainly to say I've only just sort of picked a little bit of soap up off that puck. Just a wee little touch of water, just see if I can just activate it a bit more. I mean that's pretty that's pretty impressive really. So it's not brilliant, it's not a thick, thick lather. But it's thick, it's a thick lather, but it's, th it's a thin coating. Just add a bit more water. See how far we can take this little bit of soap. See if I can really get it to explode. As you can see now, a good thick coating and a thick lather at the same time. And it smells lovely, really good. It's definitely obviously a soapy scent. I've just bloomed the soap, what a waste of time that was. 
Since I've bloomed it, I'm just going to give it a go. Just see what I can swag out of it with it being bloomed now. actually deals quite well with a lot of water about three quid. I don't know how much you pay for it in the UK but that's how much it costs over here. Alright guys, well, I'm going to go and clean myself up. I'm glad you joined in just to have a little look at the Windsor soap. I'll get this whipped online straight away and I'll catch you guys next time.